If you go down the rabbit hole of Hugging Face, you are likely to find some really interesting models. I just found this Distil NPC Gemma 3 1 billion instruction tuned model, which is a small language model or SLM fine tuned from Gemma from Google, of course. It is designed for generating realistic and contextually appropriate dialogue for non playable characters or NPCs. If you are a video gamer, you must be aware of what NPC is. It is a sort of fictional character in a video game that is controlled by the computer rather than by the player. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member. In this video, we are going to install this NPC model which is Distal NPC from Gemma and then we are going to check it out how exactly it is performing. The model is instruction tuned on fictional character biographies and curated conversation examples, enabling it to produce engaging character consistent responses to player questions. It also follows a natural conversational style rather than generic completions, making it quite late, lightweight yet capable for in-game dialogue or simulation tasks. I will also be talking about the multiple use cases you can have with these sort of NPC oriented models and then we will go from there. Let me take you to my terminal for the installation and for the installation of model I am going to go with VLLM inference engine which is quite a performance scalable model serving engine. If you don't know what that is just go to my channel watch this first video after searching with VLLM. And if you are following along, just get it installed after watching this video. I already have the LLM installed and from, um, for the front end, I'm going to use open web UI again, same video will show you how to get it installed locally. So I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, Nvidia H100 with 80 GB of VRAM, courtesy mass compute, but don't worry, you don't really need that much VRAM. Even in fact, I think if you are brave enough, you can even run it on CPU. But if you're looking to rent a CPU, GPU or VM on very, very cheap prices, you can find the link to masked compute in video's description. And to top it off, I'm also going to give you a 50% discount coupon, which you can find in video's description for a range of GPU. So please do check them out. Okay, so that is all done and tested. I already have VLLM installed. So I'm going to download this model the digital NPC with VLLM and then I am going to serve it on my local system. And the model is getting downloaded while that happens. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks and you will find the link in video's description too. And the model is now being served as you can see. Next up, I'm just going to launch my open web UI and then we will access it in the browser environment and we will play around with the model. And this shouldn't take too long, it is very quick. And the model is loaded as you can see here. One thing I would highly suggest you do is just go to top right, go to admin panel and then go to settings and models. Just edit this model and make sure that you give it the system prompt, which makes sure that the model performs as per its fine tuned uh, data. So you can see we are telling it that you are non playable character in a video game and your task is to answer questions from a player playing the game. When player asks you questions about your life, you need to respond. If you do not know the answer, do not respond and just say you do not know. And then it just should be generating only the answer, nothing else. Also, they have suggested in their model card that we set the temperature to zero. So it will be quite deterministic. We really don't want it to be, uh, you know, innovative and just go on tangent. So these are the two things you should be doing. Uh, before you start using it. So let's now play around with this model. And as this model is already loaded onto the GPU in full, you see it takes a lot of VRAM, lot and lot of VRAM. I'm just going to again show you the VRAM consumption is 
quite high but i think this is due to the fact that i am all also using another model on the same system so and the other model was consuming around 72 gig of vram which is my previous one it is being served so i think this one consumes around 2 gig of vram which you can easily run on cpu okay so that is why no need to worry about anything it is just a 1 billion parameter model okay so let's now play with this model i am going to do a role play so the first character i am going to give it is siler the night warden of ilaris keep and the prompt is you have watched countless travelers pass beneath the moonlight do you ever wish one might stay long enough it says i find their fleeting presence interesting so you see short but very much focused to their role and that is what we want from our npcs we really don't want any flowery language and then i'm just going to say it do you ever wonder if any of them remember you once they have gone it says the memory of my past is a shadow i carry and if you are aware of this npc you might have noticed that it is actually quite perfect it is quiet the response is wistful and consistent with uh, the npc's melancholy tone let's deepen that emotional thread just a tad bit more so i have just asked it this and say it grows like the rain before the storm so again i think um, so i think you have got the idea maybe that we are building the story in the same restrained intimate rhythm and the model is fully playing the role let's try out another character i'm just going to open another chat window now for the next character i'm going to go with this naira solan now this is a character which is quite lively flirtatious emotionally open but still quite tasteful without being crass and it says the wind's song is my reward not my attention and if you match it up with my prompt this is really good and when i say good what it means is that it is elegant and confident and exactly how a free spirited character like naira should sound so for example if i say here in the same way there you go so again very free spirited you know it's a tone which is warm and teasing and it is not crass at all so i hope that you got the idea and there are a lot of other tools which you can um, you know play around with it with the role play if you are into that role play just go to my channel and search with role play you will um, see a lot of role play but what i have done most of them local and then you know private and you are going to enjoy them a lot i can guarantee you you would love it if you have never done that this could be quite addictive you can see that you know i have done heaps and heaps of role plays and this is going you know i'm sure you are going to enjoy this one look at this so a lot of stuff is there check it out i'm sure you're going to enjoy especially you know with silly tavern so this model could be a good choice for silly tavern if you're interested in that sort of npc role play that's it let me know what do you think please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support